Today I'm tying the Jumbo Juju Coronamid. That's me, Lance. I'm the creator of this channel and your normal average everyday guy who loves to tie flies. And today I'm going to tie a Jumbo Juju Coronamid, an awesome pattern I found in Charlie Craven's book called Charlie's Fly Box. If you are new to my channel, click subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified of updates to my channel. That's me, and this is my vice. In its jaws is a size 16 TMC 2302 hook with a 764 inch bead on it. Start the white UTC 70 thread behind the bead. Use a pair of scissors to cut the tag end of thread from the hook. Continue wrapping the thread down the hook with flat wraps of thread until the thread is hanging just above the barb of the hook. It is important to have as flat of wraps of thread as possible. Flat wraps help the super hair sit smoothly on the surface of the hook. Once the thread reaches its destination, above the barb, build a small bump of thread. After the bump of thread has been built, wrap the thread back up the hook shank using smooth flat wraps. To achieve flat wraps with UTC thread, spin the bobbin counterclockwise as it hangs from the hook shank. As the thread spins, watch it unwind to create a flat, unwound thread. Charlie Craven's materialist from his book Charlie's Fly Box calls for three strands of one color of super hair and two strands of another. But because the chromatids that I am trying to imitate are an extremely dark olive to black, I am going to use four strands of black super hair and one strand of red. The red will give the impression of segmentation on the fly. Because we are only using four strands of one color and one strand of another, the super hair does not need to be tied in any particular order. So just trim the tips of all five strands of super hair and secure them to the near side of the hook just behind the bead using four or five gentle wraps of thread. Then carefully pull the super hair from the back of the bead until the tips are under the wraps of thread used to secure them to the hook. Be careful. If you pull too hard or too much, the super hair will come out of the thread wraps meant to hold down the super hair, just like I did there. Luckily, I was able to save it. Continue securing the five strands of super hair to the near side of the hook all the way to the thread bump that was created earlier again using smooth, flat wraps of thread. Once the thread reaches the thread bump, bring the thread back to the behind the bead of the fly with yet again smooth, flat wraps of thread. Because only four of one color of super hair and only one of another color are used, there is no need to separate colors or make sure that the colors stay together. Just be sure the super hair is tightly butted up against each other as it is pulled straight up from the fly and wrapped around the hook shank to the bead. And to aid in keeping the super hair butted to each other, weave the super hair from the front of the hook to the back of the hook, like you see here. Once the super hair gets wrapped up to behind the bead, secure it to the hook with a few tight wraps of thread and then without cutting the thread, trim the butt ends of the super hair. To finish the abdomen of the fly, apply a couple whip finishes to the hook and trim the thread. To build the thorax, start some black UTC 70 thread behind the bead. After securing the thread to the hook, cut the tag end of the thread close to the hook. Continue wrapping the thread to about one third down the hook shank.
Cut a piece of medium pearl tinsel from the spool, lay it on top of the hook and over the bead of the fly. Wrap a couple light wraps of thread over the tinsel and around the hook shank. Gently pull the tinsel from the back of the hook until the tinsel is no longer covering the bead and it is sitting in the gap of the thorax. Secure the tinsel to the hook with tight wraps of thread. Cut a piece of black thin skin that is about half the hook gape wide and reaches past the back of the fly. For this size 16 hook, that is about an eighth inch wide. Tie this piece of thin skin the same way the tinsel was tied in. At this point, the thread should be resting just behind the bead. Using a very small clump of black superfine dubbing, dub the thread and wrap it around the hook shank down to one third of the way back and then back to the bead. Repeat this process as many times as necessary until a small thorax of dubbing robustly covers the exposed thread. For this fly, I had to do it twice. Next, pull the thin skin over the bead and lightly wrap thread around it and the hook shank. Adjust the thin skin so that it sits over the top of the thorax and lines up with the hook shank. Cinch down on the thread to secure the thin skin in place and tightly wrap a couple wraps of thread around the joint then trim away the excess thin skin. Repeat this process with the tinsel. After the tinsel has been secured and the tag trimmed, apply a couple whip finishes and cut the thread at the fly. Charlie's book says to use a red marker to color the butt of the fly. However, I want to give this jumbo juju a hot spot, so I'm using a fluorescent orange sharpie. Just take the sharpie and dab the exposed white thread with it until the exposed butt is orange instead of white. Now apply a coat of UV glue. I'm using clear cure goo thick, but other thick glues work too. Using a bodkin, apply the glue to the thin skin and kind of bring it down on the fly to the butt. Let the glue settle a bit and then blast the UV glue with the UV light. Clear Cure Goo Thick dries sticky so I'm applying a coat of Clear Cure Goo Hydro over the top of the thick glue as well. Blast the glue once again with the UV light. I love still water fly fishing and want to know what your favorite chronomid pattern is. What makes it your favorite? Share with us below. Make sure to click subscribe to get more of my videos in the future. If you have any questions or comments about tying the Jumbo Juju chronomid, please leave them in the comments as well. If you want to learn how to tie other flies, be sure to check out my nymphs playlist to the right. Or if you prefer, below that you can find what YouTube recommends for you to watch from my channel. Thanks for watching, now go get some super hair and go tie some Jumbo Jujus.